Hi guys, in this quick video, I will show you a little secret that I made as a kind of response to a Radio Fun 232's video about a um, simple low battery indicator. A simple secret that will light up an LED whenever the voltage of the battery drops below some threshold. Easy task, really. And uh, I looked at his circuit for a while and I thought, huh. I can probably make one which uses a little bit less parts, even. Mm, yeah. Then I thought, yeah, that's definitely possible. And result you can see right here. That's it. Yep. One LED, you'll have that in any case. Two fixed resistors, both of the same value. A potentiometer or a trim part can be the same value as well. You can use 10k, 4.7k, 6.8k, whatever. There is a large degree of freedom here. Two transistors of the same type. Zener diode, in my case 4.3 volts, doesn't have to be. And that's it, really. So let me show you the schematic. Schematic is really simple. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> as you can see, two transistors wired as a DFAM. And yes, they don't have to be matched. The, you can spend your time, essentially. In this case, you, can, you will waste your time matching them. Just grab two of them and it'll be fine. I, do, I don't know, maybe grab the two of the same type. For example, I used two NCD 904s. Pick, just pick two randomly from my box of transistors here and it's pretty easy. Works like charm. It doesn't have to be matched. You can see that just a voltage reference. This resistor limits current through a zener. Easy enough. That's a long tail of this DFAM. Essentially a long tail because it's usually high resistance but in this case 4.7 works quite well. And you don't have to use additional resistor here because the path of the current will be like through the LED, collector emitter, and bam, through this resistor anyway. So that kills two birds with one stone. You don't have to use base resistors, you don't have to use collector resistors because all the currents eventually end up flowing through this resistor. All right, let me show you. So right now it's 12 volts. And you can see it's gone. And you can tweak it to be. Mm. You can tweak it to extinguish it. For example, I want a threshold at about 11.5 volts. And yeah, my power supply displays 100 millivolts less than there really is. So let me. 11.4 is 11.5 really. And now tweak it. So it will shine up bright with that kind of voltage. Okay. I'm happy. Now, let me... Trick the voltage up. That's 12 volts. And the LED here is fully off. And the voltage is 12 and a half. And if I'm gonna decrease it to 12 volts, like this, it's on, but I can just go and pick some voltage like 12.1 and tweak this resistor until the LED goes off. All the way. Okay. That's good. Now it will sh start to shine quite bright when the voltage is at 11 and a half volts. It's quite bright and quite bright LED. You can see. Yes, it will change brightness. Closer you get to your threshold, it will decrease in brightness, and lower you get, it will increase in brightness. But 
it burn, burn, nothing will burn out, everything will work just fine. So if you want a very simple voltage indicator for your battery to display whenever you screwed up your battery or not, use either radio fan circuit or this circuit. All right, hope this will, hope this was interesting for you. Thanks for watching. See you.